We just got the first copy of the Universal Encyclopedia of Scales in paperback form, all 12 volumes. But there's much more to talk about before we can, whoa, it's massive. Okay, why don't you show me what's in the encyclopedia and then we can talk more about theory. So in this video, we're gonna dive deeper into the actual encyclopedia. But before we do so, be sure to check out the previous episodes so that you can get the most out of what we're going to talk about today. First, let me remind you that this entire encyclopedia is also available as a single interactive PDF with the same exact contents that's in all 12 paperback volumes. Wait, all these books are available in one PDF? Yep. And the PDF is fully interactive. You can use all the search options available in Adobe Acrobat Reader, and pages are connected to each other by links to easily find whatever it is that you're looking for. And you can use any device to carry the entire encyclopedia around wherever you go. That's so cool. I can't believe you can fit all of these books in one single PDF. It wasn't easy, but we made it happen. First, let me show you the paperback versions. So as we said before, there are 12 volumes and all the contents in all 12 volumes has been carefully organized. So you can find quickly whatever it is that you're looking for and see the scales from many different perspectives. Let's start with the core volumes. Volumes two through eight contain all scales grouped by mode count. Volume two contains all scales with one to three modes. Volume three contains all scales with four modes. And volume eight contains all scales with nine to 11 modes. Let's grab volume four first. You can see the volume indicated on the spine by way of these uh, orange stripes uh, right here. Uh, this volume contains all of the scales with five modes. Let's go to the first scale page. Now in these volumes, you're gonna find two types of pages. Let's look at the first type first. This is the source scale and its related modes page. In this page, you have a source scale and its related modes graphed over the circle of fits. This page, for example, shows a major pentatonic scale and all of its related modes. As you can see, there are five scales in this set, which means that this is a scale with five modes. Mode one, the source scale, is a major pentatonic. Mode two is a pentatonic sus4 flat seven. Mode three is a pentatonic minor flat six. Mode four is a pentatonic sus4, and mode five is actually the minor pentatonic scale. In the top left, there's a card that tells us all the properties of not only the source scale that we started with, but all of the modes of that source scale. So in other words, all five of these scales have five notes, five modes, and 12 transpositions. The source scale, as we said before, is major pentatonic, and none of them are symmetrical, and there are no bi-triadic hexatonics either. The top right shows the source scale's graph over the circle of fifths, which includes the catalog ID for the set, which I'll explain later. The only thing you need to know right now is that this is a unique identifier for this set of related scales. Also notice that the circle of fifths are labeled using the degrees of the scale rather than the note names. This makes all the scales in this set root independent. At the top of the page, towards the center, there's an interval content chart. We'll look at this chart in detail later on, but basically, it offers a visual way of quantifying the amount of consonants or dissonance in the set of related modes based on the intervals that are present. Before we mentioned that there were two types of pages in our encyclopedia, we just broke down the first one, let's look at the other type. So the next five pages of our encyclopedia will contain this second type. Basically, each scale that we just talked about or each mode of the source scale will be re represented on the following five pages. So here is what that would look like. So here on this page is the source scale, the major pentatonic. So in this format, our scale page format, you can see the scale written down in all keys with music notation, also superimposed over a piano keyboard and a guitar fretboard. With this information, you can play the scale in any key 
by reading the music or see it on a piano keyboard or a guitar fretboard. By the way, in the guitar fretboard, the roots are shaded with a slightly different color so you can distinguish them from other degrees that are in the scale. The top card shows you properties of the scale and also up here, other names that this scale might go by. So we have major pentatonic or major six add nine or Kung natural five or Scraven natural two. A lot of the other information in the card uh, we noticed on the other page, like for here, for example, here, five notes, five modes, and 12 transpositions. But we also have some extra information here about the scale. It's intervallic formula, for example, whole, whole, minor third, whole, minor third. Also, the degree formula is listed directly underneath that, one, two, three, uh, five, six. It will tell us here next the source of this scale. Now, since we are looking at the source, it says self. Um, if we're looking at a mode of this source, it would just merely say major pentatonic. Uh, it is not a symmetrical scale, and it is not a bi-triadic hexatonic scale either. On the right side, we have the graph that represents our scale superimposed into the circle of fifths with the notes labeled as degrees rather than alphabetical note names. In the top center, we now have a dual chart with the intervallic content. The bars to the left show the chart of intervallic content of all the related modes, basically what we were looking at on the previous page. But here, we've superimposed a new chart next to it, with the intervallic formula relative to this scale having a designated root. I'll explain this chart a little more later on. Let me see if I understand you correctly. If I open any of these core volumes on any page, I'll find either a scale page or a related modes page. And all the related modes will be on the adjacent pages, so I can go back a couple of pages until I find the related modes page, and the following pages will show me each scale in the set until I get to the next set of related modes. Right. So here I found the Aeolian scale. If I go back, I'll find the Ionian and the related modes. And then the next seven pages will be all of the modes from Ionian. Wow, that's pretty cool. And you have every single scale in music, all 2048 organized this way? Yep. And the scales in these core volumes are grouped by mode count. So you know how many pages of scales to expect after each source and related modes page. That keeps it really easy when browsing through each volume. It sure does. But what happens when I'm looking for a scale in the encyclopedia? How do I find it? Well, to answer that question, first we have to define what it is that you're exactly looking for. What do you mean? Well, are you looking for the scale by its name, or uh, intervallic formula, or by how many notes it has, or some other property like symmetry, for example? 